Welcome to the screencast on Capistrano and how we can use this uh, Capistrano task to download a database uh, data in your production machine to your local machine and then import it into your development database. So now why would you want to do that? If you have uh, issues uh, on the production machine and if you have bugs, you, you want to have a realistic data uh, on a Dell machine to reproduce the bug and fix it. So it's a very useful task and even if you don't uh, use it for reproducing bugs, you still have um, a way of just backing up your remote uh, database onto your machine and then you can save it on external hard disk or whatever. So <clears throat> let's get started. I'm using Capistrano 2.0. I'm not going to go into the basics, but I'll just walk you through this very useful task I found and what I did to get this thing working. Since it's very useful, I thought I'll share it. And I'm using Capistrano 2.0. It's got namespace, just like reg task. You can have namespace. And when you call this reg task, if for in this in, in this case, you will call it as cap db colon backup which is the task name description is the description for the uh, this Capistrano uh, task and the backup task has roles only for the DB if primary set to true these are the things you would do initially right in the beginning set the roles for and what those machine all those details will be set up the ALZNV is set to production and the run command basically we, uh, it will execute what you have inside of this uh, string on the remote machine. So we basically uh, cd to the current path, and we set the Rails in with the production, and we call the reg db dump to get the database dump for the production uh, uh, environment. And the get will get uh, the um, uh, database dump which is in the db slash um, production hyphen data dot sql dot gz onto your local machine db uh, when you're running cap deploy you'll be on the root of the project so this uh, downloaded file will be saved under the db directory and the system command okay is the is a kind of like run but it won't get get executed remotely the system can command executes what you have here in the string on your machine on your local development laptop or desktop box so that's how you get the um, um, you get the um, data dump of the production machine and then I'm just unzipping it so that it's ready to be imported into my local database. Unzip it, and then uh, there's this another task I combined. It just loads the environment, the RB file, and then it's looking at the configuration. Uh, I don't need this since I'm not using it to have hard coded it just to get this thing working. So you can ignore this, ABCS. But it's kind of being used here, adapter, based on the adapter. Right now, this uh, Capistrano task will only work for MySQL server. So I'm using MySQL, so this will get executed. And then you establish a connection for production environment. So you can connect, in, in, my, in this case, uh, I'm connecting to the local database, uh, it's, which is a development machine. So this will be development. I can connect to the development uh, database and the password I'm not using any password so this gets executed I'm calling the mysql minus u root and then this is the name of the database that I want to import this uh, data dump I got from the production box and this gets imported into my local database and then I just remove delete the uh, unzipped file that I had downloaded from the production box and that's it and it's, it's a very useful task and uh, you can use it for backing up files i hope you found this helpful and if you enjoyed it please recommend me on working with service thank you